Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Taskmaster for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, the challenge is very straightforward. Sink 30 transports and 2 destroyers. Whoever does this fastest wins. So, if you want to have something done quickly, you call the Italians, because they generally have the fastest ships, or at least that's my, uh, let's say, in-realm, in-game um, interpretation of them. So, I'm going to go with one light cruiser, which is all that we're allowed. Starting range, 15,000 meters. My plan is to make something really quick, make something that is armed with a lot of probably the same 1.1 inch guns that you might have seen yesterday, and a couple of uh, maybe 6 or 7 inches to deal with the destroyers, because they too have to be eliminated. So what do we have? We have the Modern Light Cruiser 2, Modern Light Cruiser 1, and the Compact Light Cruiser. These are actually a bit smaller than I had expected. And uh, let's see, 38 knots, something like that. I would love to go with turbo electric drive, maybe gas turbines. Let's see, 2,800 tons, 41, yeah, definitely gas turbines. Do you want to have something go fast? You don't really care about the cost, so this is what you bring. Although actually, no, sorry, the gas turbines are not only lighter, but also cheaper. Perfect. All right, expert crew, standard bulkheads. I don't care about the range. I do care about the main tower. Uh, this is something that's going to have to have a good amount of base accuracy. Secondary tower with a bunch of base accuracy. Main guns. Um, I have the interesting option for the Italians, which are the six inches, which can house another turret on top of them. That is very interesting. Now, I'm thinking two guns like that. It's gonna... holy moly. I think that's enough pitch. Wow, okay. That's a bit more pitch than I was actually expecting. Uh, hoping for, rather. So I'm trying to create a fairly stable firing platform, not this whole nonsense. Oh well. Um, gas turbines are generally very eager to have big funnels. That is the trade-off. I'm probably not going to be able to get my engine efficiency up as high as I would like. 37%. That's not great. That's not great. Where's my engine efficiency? Here. Less acceleration, less torque at high RPM, less operational range. Operational range is fine. I don't care about that. If I go like this... Yeah. It's not that good. What I need to have is the ability to have some armor on the ship. Make sure that it stands up to potentially as big as 5.9 inch guns on the enemy destroyers. And, aside from that, close the distance against transports. And you might find that the transports are armed as well. So those are also a potential threat level. Now, I am expecting torpedoes, so let's go Sonar 3. Let's go Radar 3 for faster gun aiming speed. And let's go Range Finder Coincidence for faster gun aiming speed. Uh, auto loaders and the fastest turret that I can get. All right. The targets, I believe, are mostly susceptible to HE, especially if I bring high-end HE shells. Um, destroyers are going to have at maximum 1.5 inches of armor which means that you're looking at three, maybe 3.3 3 inches of armor tops. My plan is to use the 6 inches with 20% barrel length to make it more accurate against the destroyers, and then just have a whole slew of secondary guns, probably the 1.1s, to allow for the quick elimination of the enemy ships, the enemy transports. This does mean I'll have to close the distance pretty quick. This is why I want to run the ship at 38 knots, because otherwise I'll not be able to get in there fast enough. So, um, we're going to make these things a bunch smaller. Minus 10%, giving me a reload of 1.2 seconds. And at 2.5 kilometers, I'm still going to have somewhat decent accuracy. You put these at the 10% bonus, your reload is 1.7 seconds, and your accuracy is far improved. Well, this is actually an option as well. 1.7 seconds. The alternative was, whoops, minus 10. 
No, minus 10. Go down. Come on. 1.2. It's half a second. I'd rather take the 10% extra um, and I can make them smaller, like the 1.1s, giving me a one and a half second reload, 25% accuracy, a two and a half kilometer range. Five kilometer range is still 4.7. Pretty respectable, actually. I can uh, make that work. I can make that work. As you might imagine, I am not running torpedoes on this ship because I feel like I don't need them. Pitch is really bad. Holy crap. That's going to really mess up my accuracy. Why is the pitch so bad? Because we got this enormous citadel, that's why. And if I put the turrets up there, it's going to get progressively worse. If I make my cruiser with 5-inch guns... 100 pitch? What the fuck? 100 pitch, 100 roll, and 79% aft weight offset. That is fairly ridiculous. If I put the turrets on the deck, then the aft weight offset drops like a brick. My pitch is still really bad. And because of this turret here, my secondary tower refuses to sit down where I would like it to go. Here. For some reason, I keep getting comments on people saying, hey, you know you can just hold control and, uh, and or shift, there's two options, and that allows you to micromanage where exactly you want a tower. Uh, yes, I do it all the time in the videos, thank you. What if I put a turret up here as well? 68? What the hell? The superstructure's too tall. I'm gonna have to go with a wider beam, I think, just to stabilize the ship. This is not great for my engine because it's gonna require me to have a bigger engine. This up here. What the? F Still? Why? Yeah, this refuses to sit anywhere but on those signs. Okay, fine. Um. You're turning into a tough to balance ship here, sir. Move some of these turrets. Maybe another tower. 9 2. Okay. 5 5. Now we're going to throw another funnel in here. This one. Pitch is 57. If I make the ship have a smaller engine, it just gets a lot worse. What if I go for 40 knots? It's still 50%? Increase the draft. Huh. Increasing the draft does make for a fairly more stable platform, interestingly. Um, I still don't like that aft weight offset. I know they're still working on the patch. So far, I am rather underwhelmed with 1.06. Yes, it has some fun stuff in it, but overall, I'm going, what are you doing? Sometimes with this game, it just feels like they take two steps forward and then three steps back, because the long campaign, great stuff. The ability to have a campaign that runs for more than uh, just, I don't know, two years or so, as you currently have on 1.05, perfect. But the amount of bugs that get introduced into the game are hmm, less than ideal. I want these on plus 20, I want these on plus 10. I have some more turrets up there. What the hell? 50%? My citadel isn't that big. My... I don't get it. Like, why are you so heavy? Oh, if I'm... 
sure, if I armor up the superstructure, the game goes, yeah, no, that's a lot, that's a lot more stable. Yes, we're doing that. Also, because it does help me in defeating the enemy transports and destroyers. Let's get a lag here on the design. Just reload the whole design, please. Give me a new design and then go back here. It's a little bit laggy. Okay. Um, what the hell? Really laggy. The game doesn't even register that I'm hitting backspace here. See, this is what I mean. Click one. There we go. It's this level of what the hell is going on with the game. Because it didn't used to slow down this much. Uh, give me a uh, four. Uh. Okay. A little bit of balancing later. The Alberto Di Giussano is ready for combat. She has been upgraded to have four 5-inch turrets. These are the 5-inch 56 guns, allowing me to get a really high amount of range. The question is whether that'll be useful, as I'm not really sure I can actually hit something at that range. The ship is essentially carrying nothing but HE, and with that HE... Actually, I need to adjust the slightest on the HE type. Uh, base fuses. With this, I can still do a quite decent amount of damage against... Oh, actually, no. Sorry. I cap. Uh, give me semi-ballistics. Here. This way, I can easily damage the destroyers. And with the 1.1 inch 42 triples, and I have a lot of those, I have 33 times 3. So that's a total of 99 guns. Um, but the bitch ain't 1.1. <laughs> Sorry. Um... I have a lot of firepower. It's 1.6 inch, sorry, 1.6 second reload. They fire a decent range as well. 8.7 HE, 8.8 AP. Shell damage, not terribly impressive, at least on paper. But the moment they actually hit a transport, I think it's going to be pretty good. To survive, this ship is very capable. 5 inch main belt, 6 inch fore, 4 inch aft, 2 inch main, 4.4 fore deck. 2 inch aft deck and 4 inches on the superstructure, plus 140%. Citadel armor, well I had to put this additional weight somewhere, 2.5 inch inner belt, another 2 inch second inner belt and 1.6 third inner belt. The chance that they'll actually do a lot of damage against this ship I think is fairly minor. The 1.1s are scaled to down 2 inch guns, the 5 inch guns are standard but have more barrel length and the 1.1s have 10% more barrel length. All right, enough design. Let's take this ship out to combat. Here we go, here we go. Fastest time wins. Target the destroyers with everything we have. These should be our primary targets as we set best speed to go to the convoy. Alberto Giussano. Sorry, Di Giussano. Already pretty respectable accuracy at long range against the destroyer. Very good. That's what I like to see. Let's go with slightly bigger angle so I can get both 5-inchers to fire. Now, even with these 5-inchers on barbettes, I find the ship to be remarkably capable of uh, providing a fairly stable firing platform. You'd think that the superstructure and the guns being elevated would cause some pitch issues, and you'd be right. It's just not as much as I was expecting. The ship is actually doing quite okay. Uh, I have been detected. They are firing back at me eventually with 4.6 inch guns. Give me AP, please. Hello? I said AP. Thank you. Preventatively doing a turn to starboard. I suspect I have been torpedoed by now. Let's see, what is your torpedo range? Yeah, 13 3. So let's do a turn. And then turn back. I eventually have to take these destroyers down, but not just yet. The more information I can get about them early on, the better. In the meanwhile, we're going to take down the transports. Even with these very fast turning 5.5ers, they're still taking a bit of time to take on some trans or take on the, the turret rotation. There you are. That's what I like to see. See, here we go. Uh, 334 damage, 944 damage with a 1.1 incher. 
And one of their DDs is taking a lot of damage. There's another one. Holy mother of god, look at this thing. Murder the enemy fleet. It's just... <laughs> pew 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 pew. Done. What the hell? You have a convoy that seriously needs elimination? This is what you use. This thing is insane. Look at the amount of corpses here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've been here less than ten minutes. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Look at this. Convoy elimination in progress. Not sure if the thumbnail is going to be doing this justice, but let's see. Something like that, I guess? You'll see what the eventual product has become, of course. Boom! Three hits for 2700 damage. Dead. Next. Have the sea bear over there. We're just nine knots faster than a DD. Springbok. Yeah, Hermes will go down. I'm not worried about that. Spirits rotating. A couple of hits. Holy shit! <laughs> this is at flank speed. Accuracy, 100%. Dead. Hasty. Yeah, I'll show you hasty. Uh, this guy seems to have some flooding issues. What's the Witherington? Where are you even going? Don't you have a convoy to protect? That was well, soon you won't. So, it's all good, but, you know, I was expecting a bit more of an effort. Come on. Why are my guns not shooting? The hell? Shoot! The target. Thank you. There's the 1.1s at work. Just one big blob of dying ships, or soon to be dying ships, like that. Next, Weymouth. Down. Next, Tasmania. This is just no contest. This is no contest. It doesn't mean, however, that I'm going to easily win this fight. I mean, I'll win the fight easily, but it doesn't mean I'll win Taskmaster, because Brother Monroe and Spartan Elite are known to put up a good fight. Yeah, you're done. Well... Low worm. I've done 243,000 points of damage. 244, 245. Switch fire to the tumult. Gonna have to motivate this guy a bit more. Low worm is definitely glowing, all right. Structural damage and burning. Right. Oh, we got a survivor here, the Nubian. Let's see about that. Um, we're going to sail right through the div here. Three times speed. Jesus. This is... This is the work that my ship has done in the span of about six minutes. Because it took me a while to get into range. Good grief. It's just 1.1 inch guns and 5 inch guns. It's like a... Essentially it's a really big destroyer. That's all that this is. It's a really big and extremely fast destroyer. And it's showing everybody what's what. There goes that one. The Seraph. <clears throat> oh, you already took out the Princess Royal. Okay, cool. Does that mean we have everyone? Yep. Okay, now onto the DDs. Hold on, you even... There goes the sea bear. Witherington currently is out of range. Move to flank speed, which we're at. Intercept that DD. This is gonna cost me some precious time. Shoot him. You. 
Sometimes the guns just flat out refuse to fire. Move to the intercept point. This guy hasn't even fired a single round. That makes no sense. This is what I mean about the game and bugs and three steps back, two steps forward. It's stuff like this, I mean, this DD didn't even make an effort to try and engage me. It knows where I am. It knows what my ship can do. Uh, maybe the, the part where it knows what my ship can do is the motivating part to go, nah, I'm good, thanks, I'm gonna run away. Which, of course, in this case, is far better for your health. Okay, starboard turn a bit. Try not to cut my ass torpedoed. Pew, pew, pew. Don't worry, we still have about 50,000 shells left. We'll be fine. This range, I think HE can do all sorts of nasty things to the Witherington. Yes. Destroy the main gun. 5.1 clicks out. Why are you not even returning fire a little bit? I think the ship might have been zigzagging so much that it never really took the opportunity or took the time to get our guns on target. Uh... Hello? Oh, I'm struggling to get my guns on target. How fast are these torps? Fairly slow. To the tune that I can outrun these torpedoes. They're 39 fives. I can do 40 knots. Yep, you're dead. Okay, 35 something. 35 something. So that's done. That last DD took me a bit longer than I would have hoped. Hmm. Did I even take any hit? No. What the fuck? They didn't shoot me once. Well, they may have shot me, but they didn't hit me. This was fairly insane. Accuracy, 25%. That's very, very, very good. Top speed, 40 knots. I'm not sure why it says engine status, 62 knots. Quite get this last column. Anyway, uh, that's it. Let me know down below in the comment section how you would design a ship like this. I think the ship performed very nicely. And, um, well, if you can beat my time, by all means, go ahead and try it. And while you're trying it, check out Brother Monroe. Check out Spartan Elite. They are linked down below in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have a challenge for me for next week, post it down below. I'll pitch it to the guys. We'll see if we can make it work. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for more.